Looking, looking good. Thank you. I don't see you. Take a fresh look. That's the best man right there. Yeah, it's not much, but uh, oh, it's pretty good. He's giving you a toe shit. I'd be careful. <laughs> This is what we got. This is our nation. What's the difference? You can carry the Kelly with Lucy. Most people think less than the most at our nation. So we can go. Yeah, I'll just let it go. I did. I got it. Yeah. Spender. One. Everybody will. Andrew. I'm not wearing this. Andrew, me and Kyle. Yeah. Who are we? Give it a good try. Show me the right. Oh, that's way Yeah. Here you go, Kyle. Brought this for you, buddy. That's right. I don't know. Ooh, Ooh. I love it. it. Wasn't so sure about the that trash? Yeah. No. No. It's it's not not bad. Bad. Oh, hello. Hi. Okay. Uh, so the will be up in about ten minutes. Okay. okay. So we can shooting just... the guys right now. Perfect. Are there pictures? Ah. Um, do you have sand, Sarah? I do have my laundry. Yes. Um, it's in a box. It's right here. Oh, is it? Is this? Okay. I'm gonna take it and set it up. Uh, make sure there everything's in there. I'm pretty sure it should be. Two colors? Um, yep, we have two boxes. What is in there? You want white for you? Um, either, yeah, that works. Yeah, actually, I never thought about it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is starting to hurt my back. <laughs> Drink some oh. wine and I'll pop one. Oh, no, I'm gonna grab one again. Oh, Jelsey, is Mary still in there? Oh, yes. I've never had one lady touch it. And this was super hard to Because usually I just let Missy go and she just does exactly what I want. Right. And this lady was like, okay, what do you think about this? And she'd do something. And I had to like respond to everything she was saying. No, I have the stuff. I'll do it. 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 I'll Oh, let's oh, practice. Watch. You want to see how sitting down is really difficult? You can't do that. You gotta hike it up. Okay. And there's no like pretty way to do it. Wait, that was pretty the way you did it. There you go. I thought I had to stick up my butt. No, it gives you really good perfect balance. Here, because you're really good. I didn't know myself yet. I just looked at it. No, I'll sell it. You look so good. Okay, that's fine. Proper. Your cat's gonna be hurting you. Yeah, I'm sitting down. How does your hair look? Beautiful. That's how I make it. Kaylee, what is that? Kaylee, you have to do. Kaylee, you have to do. No, that's where they bustle it up. And then hook it there. So then it's not so heavy and I can move and I was just, um. Is it heavy? Small, small swole. Of the tightest? The pearls? Like if you wanted them higher. I know pearls. Ours aren't tight. Ours aren't tight. Yeah. Yeah, they're really tight. Kelly, yours isn't. Um, fitted or connected right, it's like kind of twisted. Yeah, I'll put it in my earlier. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with the necklace? Yeah. So, 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 yeah, all of you. I don't know, my face is fine. They said it's a little bit short. Oh, that's backwards, isn't it? Sorry, but no. it's a thinner one. But I just was saying because they were touching. Oh, yeah, right, right over the necklace? Yeah, yeah that's that's actually. Or right over the necklace? Yeah, yeah, this is not right there. there. I
You getting a shot from behind me? Yeah, hold on a second. Like, shot are you good? Uh, yeah, no, you're good, you're good. Okay. Oh, you look gorgeous. He's like a supermodel. Oh, do I look backwards? Uh, no, you look down at your flowers. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, my Kaylee. <laughs> Gorgeous and that bracelet is Wait, so fix your dress. Yeah, fix her dress on the right side. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, seriously, listen to you. Hold your arm out just a little bit more. There you go, just like that. Perfect. Okay, that's amazing. And now twist around, look back at your girls with this big smile. And what, holding it down? Uh huh. There you go. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you're home. It's not like clear. Yeah, maybe just a little. Uh, we don't. Like this. I can actually get a cool shot, and I'm going to tell what you're doing. That's how it's so yeah, cute. Yeah, that way it's just awesome. covers up whatever she's doing. Oh, she's doing. Oh, I'm about to get a shot, and you're going to pop the knee. I'm going to grab some of these things. I got it. Yeah, I have to do that. She fixed it. She did this to me. I don't need to say. No, you're the best thing. Do you love it? Yeah, let me get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of you yeah, you don't want to be Okay. Oh my god. Like okay. Thank you so much. 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 More, like push your shoulder. Yeah, the boobs don't matter. More, like push your shoulder. Yeah, the boobs don't matter. <laughs>
Please stand.
You may be seated. Friends and family, you honored guests, welcome. We gather together uh, in front of God and these witnesses to celebrate the love of Kyle and Kaylee. We've come at their invitation to share in the joy of their wedding. Scripture tells us that for this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. Kaylee, who would have thought out of three and a half billion men on the planet, many of them available, <laughs> you would have chosen this one all the way up in Michigan to be the man you would spend the rest of your life with. And Kyle, roughly three and a half billion women on the planet, and you would be able to talk any of them into marrying you. I mean, it's a miracle. So, but you found each other, and it's for moments like this that we use words like fate, and destiny, and meant to be. I'd like to ask now who gives their blessing over this marriage of Kaylee to Kyle. Thank you. Kyle, let's take your hand for our Let's pray. God, it's our desire to honor you. We're here for a wedding. We're blessed to call these two our friends or our family, but their desire today is to honor you through their marriage. We know that the institution of marriage is your idea, that it's a gift to us, and we thank you for the love that you've birthed in the hearts of Kyle and Kaylee for one another. As they venture together down this road, I pray they never forget this day, when they stood in this spot, surrounded by these people, and began their lives together. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. I've had the privilege of knowing uh, Kyle for a little while um, and Kaylee for a little while as well. Uh, I've gotten to see their relationship grow from um, a girl that Kyle would talk about but really probably wasn't supposed to date yet um, to the point where they've decided to spend the rest of their lives together. And in preparation for today, I, uh, I prodded it into their relationships just a little bit. I asked uh, each of them some personal questions privately and uh, garnered their responses to share with you all today. I asked Kyle, uh, what exactly went through your mind the first time you saw Kaylee? Uh, he said, that's a really cute country girl. I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. Dang, I think that's her boyfriend over there. <laughs> I asked him, if you wrote a song about the first time you met, what would you call it and why? He said, uh, two months till I never forget you. And it was two months from the first time we met until I saw her again. And the second time I saw her, I could tell she was someone really special. I asked him, what's the funniest thing that's happened in your relationship this far? He said, uh, I told her I thought we should go on a second date, to which she replied, you do? <laughs> said, and I don't think that's a good idea, tone of voice. I asked Kyle, please sum up in 20 words or less how you feel about Kaylee. He told me, honored, excited, privileged, and blessed to share the rest of my life with her. I asked Kaylee, why are you marrying Kyle? <laughs> Maybe a profound question. Uh, she said, I'm marrying Kyle Zimmerman because he's the most precious thing in the world to me. He has so many incredible qualities and gives me more reasons to fall further in love with him every day. He brings me closer to the Lord and he gives me purpose in life. He has the kindest heart and the biggest hugs. Everything is always better when we do it together and I love having him by my side at all times. He makes me appreciate the little things in life. I'm marrying Kyle because he's the love of my life, the man of my dreams. He's my soulmate, and he's my absolute best friend. I asked her, uh, what exactly went through your mind the first time you saw Kyle? She said, uh, I thought he was the cutest boy I had ever seen, though I was a little thrown off that I was attracted to a northern boy. <laughs> when I spoke to him, I realized he was a sweet country boy and had the qualities of a true gentleman. I asked her, what's the funniest thing that's happened in your relationship this far? <laughs> she said, it would probably have to be the time when Kyle asked me to go on a second date. <laughs> I truly enjoyed our first date and getting to know him and knew that I liked him, but at that point in my life, I wasn't sure if I was ready or had the time to date someone. So when Kyle stated, so I think we should go on a second date, my response was, you do? I asked her, describe in detail how you felt when you realized Kyle was the one for you. She said, 
I knew that I was falling in love with Kyle and that he could be the one I would spend the rest of my life with, though it wasn't until I met his parents and saw the way he interact interacted with them and saw them in that context, I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. That April day was such a special moment when I looked at him and realized he was the guy that God had planned for me to be with. It was an emotional moment for me when I realized I had fallen for him and that he had felt the same way. I asked her, please sum up in 20 words or less how you feel about Kyle. She said, he's a blessing in my life and he is my best friend. Guys, I'd like to say a couple things just to you personally. Um, remember today, significant time, energy, and money has gone into planning this event to make this day special. And I believe that's for a reason, that you never ever forget the significance of the decision that you make today. Marriage is a gift. I mean, I firmly believe that. And I promise you that if you ground your relationship and your faith in God, it will blossom into the most beautiful thing that you ever do with your lives. Beyond careers or accomplishment, children or memories, the story your love for one another tells will outshine them all. And that's why Paul said that in the end, there are essentially three things that count, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. But that doesn't mean it will be all sunshine and roses from here on out. Um, marriage, as many people can tell you, uh, is tough. It's hard at times, and it can be the most frustrating thing you imagine. Your, par your partner will infuriate you and confuse you and make you crazy. And Kaylee, obviously I'm talking mostly to you here. <laughs> but remember today on days like that. Remember this moment and remember that all good things are worth fighting for. I think back to your favorite story as a kid. I promise you there were dark days in it. The hero doesn't walk in and say, hey, everything's great. Uh, I guess I'll just sit around and do nothing. And uh, then we live happily ever after the end. Every good story worth reading has dark days when all hope seems lost, when the outcome seems bleak, but they fight. In spite of everything that goes wrong, they overcome. Back to back with your best friend, love will overcome. And that's a better story by far. One I believe God is writing for you. 1 Corinthians 13 describes love like this. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never fails. Elsewhere, Paul tells us this, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, he says, but I'm talking about Christ and the church. However, each of you must also love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife should respect her husband. He says that two will become one. That means for you, from this day forward, you can no longer be the highest priority in your life. Kyle, you put Kaylee above yourself. You love her like Christ loved us. He gave himself up for her, he died for her, and your call is nothing less. Kaylee, the same is true for you. You're called to put Kyle first to forego selfish desires and do your best to support him, help him to become the best man that he can. Uh, it might mean no more Frank Coor posters in your new home, <laughs> but you put him first. And when you do, you show the world around you a picture of Jesus. It points them to the greatest love ever. A love so great, so selfless that it doesn't even make sense to us. And this is how God feels about us. Kyle, the best thing I could wish for you is to have um, an active relationship with your Savior, with Jesus. The second would be a wife that loves you and helps you to become more and more like Him. Kaylee, the greatest thing I could wish for you is that you would have an active relationship with your Savior. Savior. And the second would be that you have a husband who loves you and helps you become more and more like Him. And I believe that's happening today. Don't forget today, okay? <laughs> You're surrounded by these people. Uh, who are witnesses to your wedding, but also here to stand guard for you, to support you, to help you fight for your marriage. By uh, your attendance here today, guys, 
Now, you're making a promise that either, if, it, if either of these ever need your help, you will do whatever is required. Kaylee, or Kyle, if you ever get in a spot, I expect you to call me. Kaylee, if my kid brother ever treats you wrong, you know that today I'm making a promise to you that you have a new brother to call, and I'll set him straight, okay? Okay, I'd like to uh, ask you now to agree to make your marriage the highest priority in your life, surpassed only by your relationship with God. If so, say we do. We do. Okay, would you turn and face each other? Taking each other's hands. And now I invite you both to commit your lives to one another by the expression of your marital vows. Eye to eye, and face to face, an, on an honest promise to your best friend. Kyle, will begin with you. I, Kyle, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife. I, Kyle, take you, Kaylee, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. Have and to hold from this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. For richer and for poor. For richer and for poor. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Now, Kaylee, please repeat after me. I, Kaylee, take you, Kyle, to be my husband. I, Kaylee, take you, Kyle, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. <laughs> Kyle and Kaylee have chosen to seal their love with rings. The jewelry we wear usually tells us a lot about a person, but um, what a ring signifies is something more significant, much more than something outside. It expresses something on the inside. A constant reminder for all who see it that you're committed to one another for life. They're made of precious metal, signifying the high cost you're willing to give for one another. And their shape speaks of the unending nature of love. Just like in your vows, you promise that whether life is all rainbows and sunshine, sunshine or it has its ups and downs, your love and commitment to one another has no end. The rings, please. Kyle, I'd like to uh, ask you to take this ring and place it on Kaylee's finger. And to repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I pledge to you my heart and soul. I pledge to you my heart and my soul. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And the vows I make to you today. And the vows I made today. <laughs> now, Kaylee, would you take this ring and place it on Kyle's finger and repeat after me? With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I pledge to you my heart and soul. I pledge to you my heart and my soul. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And the vows I make to you today. And the vows that I make to you today. <laughs> Let's pray. Eternal God, author of salvation and the only one worth praise, we ask your favor on this man and this woman who have become, who've come before you today to be wed. Give them your grace as they go from two into one. Help them knit their lives together and to grow in love for each other and for you all the days of their lives. Help them as they traverse this uncharted ground. There will be days when it is harder than they ever imagined and days when it's greater than they could have dreamed. Remind them that you have been and will continue to write in them a more beautiful story than they ever could have written on their own. I pray that their friends and family here today would give them aid to help them to flourish, to be a support system for Kyle and Kaylee. And above all, God, we pray that you're given praise and honor for what you've brought together that their lives will serve to point each other and all who know them to you. We love you, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen.
Kyle and Kaylee have uh, chosen to capture this moment through a Unity Sand ceremony to illustrate how today two lives are becoming one. And they've asked uh, Jill Zimmerman to sing. Kyle and Kaylee, now that you've given yourselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witness, and have shown your affection and trust by giving and receiving rings and by joining your hands and your hearts together, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, therefore God is joined together. Let man not separate. Kyle, I invite you to kiss for the very first time your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Kaylee Zimmerman.
can make me wrong. Oh my gosh. Chelsea, your shoes. How are you going to go? 
Oh, 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 Just like that guy. Oh, there we go. Come on, man. Dad! Okay, you everybody look right over here on this side for me, too, okay? Uh, Jenny! Oh, yeah. This guy. Hey, look over here. Right here. Max! 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 Max. <laughs> Max! Max! Hey, Max! <laughs> Actually, he's really good. Let me check it real quick.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you during their first dance together as husband and wife. Let's hear it for Mr. and Mrs. Ah!
this time we give you praise for this occasion. We pray, Lord, your blessing upon Kyle and Kaylee. We pray that you might find your purpose for them in their lives. That they might bring you glory and honor in all they do. And may all of us too seek that purpose to do your will and glorify you. We thank you for this occasion, for the joy and celebration. We thank you, Lord, for the food. With the activities, we pray your blessing upon them. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
just, it took a while. <laughs> it was the best feeling to me. We had to throw in that coat before it. <laughs> Sorry, Seth. No. Um, when I first met Kyle, it was uh, first grade. And uh, if you all want to look over at Wayne, put your sunglasses on if you need to. His hair was pretty much that shade, really white. But it was good looking, attracted me. Um, <laughs> so just stack up on the Just for Men, Kaylee, because it's, it's coming back. <laughs> I also would like to thank um, Kaylee's parents, Simon, um, Marion. It's been a pleasure. You guys have a very wonderful family. I came down here thinking that you guys are all lucky to get Kyle, but I think it's kind of switching around. Maybe a little bit of both. It's pretty even. Um, also, your kids, John. He's a very good man. Kind of a boy still, but his beard makes him look like that. John, I can say, just, just hang out next to this guy. Here. Kyle will make you into a very good man. Um, Chelsea, of course. She's a spitfire, is what we use up in Michigan. <laughs> Well, I think it's Garrett, right? Yeah, good, good luck, Garrett. And then, of course, Danny, she's a cute, cute little girl. You, you gotta make sure you get your new brother Kyle to take you to the movies and buy cotton candy and a lot of wonderful stuff. Um, and then another thank you here, I'm, I'm full of thank yous. Uh, Kyle's parents, Wayne and Charlotte. It's kind of hard because. They are kind of like my second family. So we need to get some buckets up here. <laughs> um, they've done so much for me, um, so much for Kyle. I know someday he'll realize it, I think. He'll show you appreciation. I know he does a little, but later when all the kids are running around, he'll, he'll realize it. Um, and then you got uh, Nate there. What a wonderful ceremony he delivered. And I think everybody can say that. Uh, he's always been. Kyle's hero, I think. He's looked up to him, he's supported to him. Uh, Brandon, very good gentleman. And just like all the Zimmermans, I'm not really sure what happened to Lindsay. Sure. I mean, she's okay. Uh, I was told she was single, so if you hear that jingle in Wayne's pocket, that's definitely not money. It was really called 270 bullets. I was told, so if any single guys here, you get close, you better be really a gentleman. He can, uh, he can hit a deer at 300 yards running, so it's gentlemen or very fast. All the two. All the two. Um, yeah, you guys thought this was going to be short. I'm going to down the page, I've got to speed it up. Um, there's a disclaimer here I have wrote and written, sorry. For my wife, anything that I refer to in marriage does not directly reflect our marriage, so I stay out of the doghouse, because I need to, I don't know why. Yeah, uh, so kind of all through school, just that upstanding guy, ever since first grade, I mean, he wanted to be good at everything, he was the first one to read, he'd ride in the car, and he'd be reading all the road signs, he'd try to be the best at everything, um, he's had a few girls, always, talked to me about those girls. His first kiss was, she was like my height, redhead. Those of you, Steve wants to try it. I mean, I'm Kyle, and that's her, so it's like, yeah, I saw that from afar, and I was like, oh, go Kyle. <laughs> Not really, that didn't do. <laughs> But lots of, lots of questions he always asked about girls, things like that, and I've always had an answer. She's too short, she's too tall. And just let her go to find someone else. And Kyle's been picky, so it really wasn't the fact, like Nate said, that no girls are It's just the fact that he's picky. He found a very, very beautiful one here in Kelly. Um, we also did a lot of uh, sports, basketball. I look back, a couple of Michigan arm bands that we shared together. I started in sixth grade. You might see a few pictures up here. Um, basketball is always real special to us. I think. I need to tell Kyle that we probably held a little high, probably too high. Um, we played a lot and never won anything. <laughs> um, and then, kind of around the end of high school, I was always said I'd go to college with Kyle. I kind of need to apologize that I never did. 
kind of backed out, but there was a good reason. She's sitting right there, and she's pretty hot. So. <laughs> And then I went and visited Kyle once, so I didn't apologize that I didn't visit you very often. And I remember going down, it was a good time, I went to beat ups, a good time watching movies. And I woke up in the morning and I took a look to the right and I said, uh, yeah, this is why. I mean, it was a pretty full moon. I don't know whose moon it was, but I mean, people do this in college? Like, it's not for me. So. But Steve did grow up, Brooke told me. He doesn't sleep quite me anymore. So, uh, I guess I gotta wrap this up a little bit here. <laughs> Kyle first met Kaylee, I was told, was at a concert, and then his defense is usually where he wants to, because I'm sure the concert was at night. No, it was an all day thing. Oh, I'm sure it was at night. It's chilly at night. Plus, the other thing is, is Kyle's dance group. I, I call it a robot chicken type thing. We'll see it later. Yeah, we're gonna see it later. It's kind of like Smith Joyce, but it's a little and if he was singing, it's, I miss it, it's real sexy, but he's got a very, very just deaf tone, tone deaf a little bit, but it's good, it's kind of scratchy, but I miss it. And I just thought the second time they met, I think this really what won her over was, was the depth of his compressions in the CBR course, and probably the mouth to mouth that really won her over. That it was good. So, Kayla, I really want to say that you, you, you're a really lucky girl. Um, I'm glad I don't have any daughters. Because I wouldn't want to do any of this stuff for them. <laughs> that sounds bad. But if I did have a daughter, he would probably be marrying her. So, it's a good thing we don't have daughters. <laughs> He'd be rocking the cradle, yes, but uh, I'd set it up. That's just how I feel about him. No um, one's worthy. Um, I think John calls him the golden boy, for the most part. Um, golden child. He's, he's done everything right, at least when I grew up with him, he did. They call him, I think, I would call him the wild Kyle now. Uh, that's what happened at college, I guess. Um, so there's, there are a few things we need to work on, though, Kaylee. We got country music on him at some point, which he hated. Don't you know he would jump out of the vehicle? Um, you need to work on this baseball thing. He hates baseball. He loves baseball. So, uh, it's America's passing, so you got to get that around. And, and keep the smoke and down. I'm a respiratory therapist, and I don't want to see him later. So work on that. I'll give you a permission. Stay my way. Light in and all. Um, Kyle and me always talked about before, <laughs> before my wedding. We called it uh, the Kyle-ness or the Justin-ness, and I just want to say that uh, that was totally wrong. Sorry. You need to kind of lose the kyle for this marriage to work. And work on selflessness. I know you're great at it already, but to be honest, selflessness is going to make it work. Um, a few points here. Uh, keep the cell phone used to a minimum at the dinner table. Clean up the Facebook. No TV in the bedroom. It's a little better. Um, why don't you just try to remember where you came from in Georgia. Remember your parents, the things they've done for you. Um, love each other and be content. I've worked with a lot of people in different fields. And I think that people just aren't content these days. Just really be content with each other and show it. I mean, Show it, show it PDA is okay when you're married. It's a good thing. Um, I have a couple verses here. Sorry. It's dragging on. But 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Um, love is patient. And I'm going to stop right there. Because <laughs> love is patient. It's the most important thing. That's why I came first. Just always be patient with each other. Um, Philippines uh, 2 2. Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being full of accord, and of one and of one mind. And you gotta drop the eyes, the minds, the yours, get out the we's, the ours, the each other's. It's, it's, it's all about you two now. It's all you guys together. Um, 
I always answered a, a lot of questions for Kyle. I said that in the past, or in the beginning here. Um, I did never answer one question. It was after a basketball game. It was our last one, and Kyle, Kyle kind of came up to me, and he was bawling. Um, and I was kind of bawling. He said, what am I going to do now? What are we going to do now? We held basketball way too high. It was a few years later that I did figure out what you need to do now, and that's get that girl right next to you. I mean, it's Kaylee. And you love her with all your heart. And you make her your pride and joy. And that's the answer to the last question that you asked me. One more thing. I just want to say that, uh, in all honesty, this is my <laughs> I tried to make it like a bit short. Um, Kyle, he, he is kind of Christ-like, and he always has been. He took all those sermons to heart. Um, I've almost seen him walk on water before. He's the best of the fishing world. He's always bringing in fish. You know, like Peter, you're not here. You're here. That's good. Um, and I, I just want to say that a gift from me to you. I always see your eyes looking at me. I remember the Seattle like, conferences you wanted me to do this. And, that. and I just want to say that you didn't really pick my leg up and put it on the steps, but you, you laid the steps to Christ. And I really appreciate that. I don't think um, me and Morgan would be where we're at. I wouldn't have my two children. And I have pretty much all that to think. That's all. Cause of, that's it. And, uh, Steve, sorry, guys. Thanks for really. Hi, my name's Steve. I'm not exactly sure what I can cover after Justin. I think he's got about all of it. Now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like Justin said, I just want to start off by thanking the parents. Um, thanks for creating these two. Uh, they're great together. Uh, they mean a lot to me. Um, so I figured out uh, the best way to find a future best friend, in case anyone out there is kind of struggling with it, starts with a few basic questions. Do you like basketball? Do you like Michigan? <laughs> That's what happened here. First day we met, saw each other playing basketball. Those are the two questions asked. The rest is history. Cheers. Now I've come up with three words to describe Kyle. They're competitive, confident, and loyal. For the competitive part, ask this kid to do anything. He doesn't want to lose, doesn't want to be told you can't do that, he'll do it. It's just one of those things. The other part is, played a game with him, video game. First week or so that we roomed together, I gotta say I did beat him a little bit, probably only because I didn't tell him how to use a controller, but <laughs> he never played against me again. So he, he kind of hates to lose. Uh, as far as the confident, takes a very confident man when we're camping to go up to a random stranger and ask him if he can ride his horse. Because uh, he wanted to ride up to the fire because he said he wanted to look like John Wayne. Now I want to say he could ride a horse like John Wayne, but as soon as he got there, the horse kind of bucked him off and that was a fun time. Couldn't do anything, it's alright. As far as loyal, this has been probably the most loyal friend I've ever had in my life. Um, had a lot of them, but this guy's stuck through. Uh, we haven't lived around each other for the last, I would say, six years at least. He's made sure to keep in contact with me. We talk at least three times a week, maybe more. Sorry, Caleb. <laughs> take, take a little bit of his time, but I really appreciate it. He's my best friend. Wouldn't change anything in the world that. Now, for you, Kaylee, I really wish that we could have spent some more time getting to know you a little better. Uh, we've only gotten to see you three, four times because um, you live down in Georgia, you've been in North Carolina, things like that. But you've taken some time to come up and visit us. Um, but a few times I have been fortunate enough to be around you, I've been blown away by the fact that you're so kind. There's, you're, even when you're mad, you're smiling. It's one of the best traits that you've got. Um, it took me about 15 minutes of meeting you the first time down in Georgia. You came and picked me up from, me and Kyle up from his apartment. 
In about 15 minutes, get a Steve Dorlick stamp, guaranteed stamp of approval. <laughs> that might not mean anything to the rest of you guys, or even them, but it means something to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see exactly what Kyle saw in you within 15 minutes. It was, it was that evident that you guys are just absolutely perfect for each other. So, I think I'm good. <laughs> you're all you're good? All right. These uh, uh, for the brides, uh, bridesmaids and groomsmen. Absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys are all, and I, I got a chance to meet all of them, and uh, what a, what a great bunch of a bunch of young individuals. I'm really proud of you. So first, my wife and I want to thank, welcome, and thank you all for joining us today in this uh, uh, for this joyful celebration. Many of you travel from far away, uh, including the states of Michigan, Connecticut, Indiana, New Jersey, Florida, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, and even the state which we won't mention by name, but is the home of the Buckeyes. Right? Go Wolverines, right? Yeah. All right. You got me hooked. <laughs> so, Kaylee, I've been preparing my heart for this day since the first day I set up. Set eyes on you, sweetie. Um, you, uh, you filled my heart. I love you so much. Um, and uh, I pray to God that the man who steals your heart will forever love you as much as I do. Over the years, as you grow into this beautiful young woman, I prayed again that this man would adore you for all that you are. Guess what? God answered all of my prayers. There is a saying in life, I don't know who wrote this, um, but when your child finds true love, parents find true joy. And it couldn't be more true today. I know that you both, both you guys all saw the way they look at each other and the way that they treat each other. That's the way they live. And I'm so proud of you both. So I'll keep this, uh, I'll keep this quick and wrap it up. Um, Kyle, I'm so proud to welcome you and your family in our family, and I'm even prouder to call you my son. You know I love you. Um, here's a little bit of fatherly advice to you both. Cherish one another, uh, one another unconditionally. Accept each other's weaknesses. You guys know I have a whole bunch, so get a little of that. Support each other's dreams. Listen with an open mind. Love with an open heart, and I know you guys already do this. It's pray together always. So, Kylie and Kale, and Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if I was going to make it through this. I, uh, so far, I've, I've held it up. Um, Kylie and Kaylee, I love you. <laughs> So if everyone would now please join me and toast this wonderful union to Kaylee. Thank you. Okay, that was a great toast. All right, the bride and groom are going to make their way over to the cake area, and uh, just the photographer will put them in position. You can watch them as they cut the cake, and afterwards, GMW Catering will, of course, cut the cake, and everyone can have some of that. But right now, they have to do their job over there and cut a couple of cakes, so we'll have a song.
give each other a piece of cake here. Here we go. I'm going to truth.
Beautiful bride for all her brides, mates right there. Okay, we're gonna do something a little bit different here. Um, we're gonna have the bride and groom right here in the middle of the dance floor, and we're gonna do something what we call, used to be called the dollar dance. I call it the money dance. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the bride and groom out here. We're gonna play, start off with a slow song, the ones who don't know what this is about. As soon as they begin, we're gonna have the, also have the, the maid of honor come up. She's gonna hold the basket. And what this happens, how this happens, everyone, is when they begin to dance, we ask the guys to come up and dance with the bride. It costs you at least a dollar. All you do is give the bride, the bride maid, here, the maid of honor. Your dollar put in the basket, you can dance with the bride for a few seconds. The guys just cut in as the as the night progresses. Ladies, you do the same, get out of your walls, pocket walls, whatever. And uh, come up here and butt in, cut in I should say, and, and dance with the groom. It just cost at least a dollar. For the guys who want to dance with the groom, it costs you at least five or ten dollars. But it's okay.
Thank you all for uh, giving a little bit of cash for them to go out and have some fun with on their honeymoon. All right, right now we are going to, before we get back into the dance music, we're going to have the tossing of the bouquet and the removal of the garter. So right now we have the beautiful bride and her bouquet. So, all you girls, all you single girls, this one's for you.
Riley and Kaylee, if you prefer. We love you guys. We're super happy for you and pumped to spend a lot of time with you. Love you. Kylie, Kyle and Kaylee, I uh, just want to congratulate both of you. Um, you know, I, I can tell you guys are great for each other. You know, um, Kyle, you've been a great friend to me. I know you're going to be a great husband to Kaylee. I just wish both, both of you the best and uh, um, just enjoy your time together. That's it. Have a great honeymoon. Hey, Kyle and Kaylee. We're both uh, very happy that you're joining our family and we're very proud of you guys and hope you guys have a fun honeymoon. Um. Hi. <laughs> Great wedding and um, enjoy your life together. May it always be magical and filled with love and sunshine and butterflies. We love you. <laughs> we love you guys. Come home to Michigan soon. Bye. Thank you. Right now, we are going to have the bride's parents. Of course, we invite everybody to dance as well, but we're going to send this song especially out to the bride's parents. Can you make an announcement for me? If anybody wants to give well wishes for the video, can they come over here? So we're going to do this song for the Brad's parents, especially if you're one of your favorite songs. And then if you also want to come over to the videographer to do the well wishes on his camera, he'd be quite happy to give you the microphone. Right now, this song is on. Kyle and Kaylee, I just want to tell you guys that we love you. Um, Melissa was so sorry that she couldn't be here, but we want you to know that we take really seriously even the commitment to be here and be a, a community with you through your marriage. We love you guys so much, and we will be there whenever you guys need us. Um, it's just been so wonderful to celebrate with you. And uh, Kyle, I want you to know just how much your friendship has meant to me and um, how you've just continued to make me a better man every day. And I can see how you already do that in, Ka in Kaylee and how Kaylee does that with you. And uh, we just wish you guys the best. And uh, you're invited up to Illinois anytime you guys want to be there. Um, we love you guys. Thanks. Kyle and Kaylee, hey, uh, mom and dad here. We are so proud of you guys. So happy that, uh, that you guys have found yourself and found each other and that you have a going to start our life together. Love to have a brand new daughter. And uh, Kyle, uh, we just hope you Continue to make us proud in everything you do. Kyle and Cape, I hope you have a great marriage and have um, a great time learning to love each other and to be um, happily married. And there's so many exciting adventures ahead of you that it's just going to be an exciting time in your life. And we love you both so very much. Have a good trip. Love you. Love you. Love you. Hi, Kaylee. Um, congratulations. You look so beautiful tonight. Um, it's just so crazy um, to see you that you're married because I've known you since we were like three years old. Um, but I'm so happy for you and congratulations. And um, I hope that we can continue to be friends um, throughout our lives and everything like that. So um, congratulations again. Love you. Um, hope this was the best night of your life. Hey, guys. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Uh, it was the best weekend ever. Um, you guys are great. Um, I hope you guys have a great marriage. Um, put Jesus first, and I know you guys uh, will have a long, happy marriage. So, love you. Love you guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Are we good? Okay. Congratulations, Kaylee and Kyle. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kaylee and Kyle, we love you so, so much. We hope you had so much fun tonight. Thank you for letting me be part of your day. I love you both. Love you. Hi, Kaylee and Kyle. It's mom and dad. We love you more than anything else. We wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. We love you very much, and we can't wait to see what life brings to you. Uh, I gotta say ditto. You guys know I love you very much. I wish you the best in, in, in everything you do, uh, best in, in life. Uh, you know, again, I love you guys. Thank you.